Hi, I'm Marcus Bornheim, Consulting Sales Engineer within the European Sales Organization at Avaya. Today I'd like to introduce you Avaya Breeze and some omnichannel insurance use case concepts uh, that are going to show you how you can make use of more than just a single voice call in an insurance environment. So when you go onto a website of the insurance company that you have signed up with and you would probably want to start a claim notification, you can do this in two different ways. Online, of course, I think everyone is very much used to do this, to click onto a couple of forms and to enter the information, describe the case and so on. In many areas, it is much more appropriate to really call, specifically when the situation is a little bit unclear for the person or when something has just happened and they want to get in touch with the insurance immediately. Let me show you how this can be done when we are receiving a call from a mobile phone. So in our case right now, someone is calling the insurance service from his smartphone, which you see on the right hand side, to the agent in the smart insurance company, which is coming up with a screen pop in probably any insurance environment that we are seeing somewhere. When we start the conversation, we have an SMS message coming in to the smartphone that the person has been calling from. We are doing this because we think it might be interesting to extend the voice communication at a certain point in time into a more visually supported conversation as well. Let's assume the person is calling in because they want to report an insurance claim of a damaged wooden floor. Where is this happening? The SMS that we have just sent out is very interesting to have a look into. This is what it's going to look like. Basically, it's got a link in there. And once I start clicking on this link, you see a couple of things are going to happen. On the one hand side, we start to push a information on the visual channel on top of the voice channel out to the calling party. And in return, what we get as well, well, we get location information and we get some other quite useful information into our operational environment, into our CRM applications, into our mapping applications, if you wish. We are extracting the location information that the smartphone is aware of with its location-based service interfaces and the APIs to introduce the values where the location is currently happening into the process. We are picking this from the geolocation API from the smartphone. We also understand that through the various APIs that the smartphone is offering, we get an information about the battery charge of this, mode, uh, of this phone currently is at 78%. So this might give us quite some interesting information about how long probably this call possibly can last without the person running out of battery. And we also give an indication of the operating system language on the smartphone, which is switched to German here right now. What else do we want to have when we start into claims management? We probably want to see what the calling party is seeing to better understand the situation. And now it's going to start really, really interesting. We can upload a photograph being taken on the smartphone and how do we do this? We send them a request to the smartphone to hit the upload button. In the same time, we have a browser window open up on our side here. So once this upload button is pushed, you see the camera is opening up. And I'm going to take a real picture now with the camera here in order to give you an understanding of what I currently can see and what probably is of interest to the insurance company. Okay, this has been uploaded now and you see the picture is coming up. I can take another picture to maybe touch the wooden floor area. This is my wooden floor area where the damage is coming from and just click, take another picture and here we go. So the second picture is coming up to be seen on the screen as well. Beyond that, if we want to have something more vivid, it might be interesting to introduce video communication into this as well. And at that point in time, 
we are opening a session, a web session between browsers leveraging WebRTC. And you see my beautiful face coming up over here. And I'm accepting the invitation on the smartphone as well. And now you see immediately two parties are talking to each other, two windows, far and side, near side, and we are having a real conversation on the phone. And over the top, we have a video service running based on WebRTC service. So this is how this beautiful technology can really be used quite efficiently. Let's take the same approach, but coming from a different angle, still in an insurance claims management environment. They, as an insurance company, they need to investigate on claims, um, for instance, on this damaged house to really understand um, where something has happened, where something is coming from. And uh, the claim then needs to be assessed in order to make a decision on the validity if the insurance company is going to pay for the damage or is not going to pay for the damage. Typically, this is done with an assessor to go on site. And the challenge for this assessor is that he can only run a couple of cases per day because he has quite a huge amount of traveling time throughout the day so that probably he cannot really do more than four appointments a day. So let's think about if we can do this maybe in a slightly different way. Here we go again with our caller coming into the insurance center at a pre-agreed time. So at that point in time, we have the assessor waiting for the caller. They have agreed up front uh, the claimant should go to the house with the water damage uh, should make sure he's got a smartphone that he can use and should make sure he's got internet access and internet connectivity to support the case. Our assessor is not going on site in order to take a couple of photos and then do the paperwork on assessing the claim afterwards when he's back in the office. He is leveraging the claimant to be able to go on site quite easily. So the claimant has called in and you might have noticed as well that uh, once the claimant has called in, he got an SMS sent out again. And now he is clicking on this SMS. And this SMS now is used to start additional services over the top of the existing voice channel that we have established to the contact center prior to that. We extract the location information. We have placed the location information in Google Maps right now. And we can drill down into this quite precisely, seeing exactly, depending on the location information of the phone, where the caller currently is. So we can match this address to the address that he has placed in starting the claim management process on the website. So we see if this is really the address of the house with the water damage on the wooden floor. So that's great. We have made sure he is at the place where he should be. And in the next step, we start having a agreement between the claimant and the assessor. And this agreement is going to make sure that the rules of the game are clear to both sides. So we are pushing out a document right here, right now. And this document is kind of a disclaimer showing what the rules are and the claimant should agree to following these rules to start into the next steps of the process. The next step of the process then would be that we want to make sure that the picture that the claimant is uh, taking are of good quality and the assessor is able to use them in order to move forward with the claims management process. For this, we are pushing him an instructional video out. And this video is helping the claimant to understand what we expect from him once we move into the claims management process. Let's have a quick look at the video and see what it's telling us. This is a short instruction of how to take pictures to document the damage. When in the room, please make sure there is enough light open window blinds or switch on the light. Then take photos from all sides to allow the insurance to evaluate the damage well.
So after the instructions are done, we start asking the information from the caller again about the water damage on the wooden floor. He opens up his camera and with the camera being held at the wooden floor with the water damage, we get these pictures uploaded into our applications completing the customer journey here. And I think it's quite easy to understand that the use case can be quite compelling with this claim management process instead of traveling with only four opportunities to see claimants during the day we might have moved this to 10 cases being managed with the same assessor or probably even more if you're interested Get in touch with me. My name is Markus Bornheim. I'm consulting sales engineer in the European region with Avaya. Looking forward to hearing from you.